Jude 1, 22 and 23. Be merciful to those who doubt. Snatch others from the fire and save them. Here's the story of Jonah. This little balloon right here, this is going to represent Jonah. Hi everybody, I'm Jonah. Anyway, Jonah was a person who lived in the Bible. He was not a balloon, uh, but he was a person and he was a prophet of God. He would go and tell people um, things that were straight from God. And God told him to go to Nineveh and tell the people there that they were living in sin. He needed to tell them to stop what they were doing and instead turn and follow God. God told him to go to Nineveh, but Jonah didn't really like those people. In fact, he knew that they were evil. He didn't want to go tell them about God's plan. And so he did something different. Instead, he ran away from God. Instead of running to where God wanted him to be, to tell other people about God in the words that he had given them or given him to tell them. Instead, he decided to go his own way. And so he went and ran down to a shipyard. And there was a ship there on the sea. And there was a ship that he ran and jumped into. Or see that? Never mind. And they ran and he went and jumped onto the boat and sailed in the opposite direction. He wasn't going to Nineveh. He was going away from Nineveh. It's going the wrong way. Actually, he eventually he climbed down into the belly of the boat and he fell asleep. And while he was in the belly of the boat sleeping, God sent a storm and the boat began to rock. The boat began to take on water and the sailors were very nervous. They ended up throwing off things off the boat, trying to make it lighter, trying to keep it to stay floating. Eventually, they went down and they woke up Jonah and they said, Jonah, Jonah, wake up. There's a huge storm. We're in trouble. So what did he do? Jonah said, well, I know why this storm is here. It's because I'm running away from God and he's looking for me. So if you take me and throw me overboard, the storm will stop. Well, the sailors didn't want to do that. So they went out and they took out their oars and they tried to row against the wind and the waves, but they couldn't do it. So eventually they did what Jonah said. They took him and they threw him into the sea. We have Jonah down here. Jonah is going to float down. Oh boy. Into the water here. Oh, there he goes down into the sea. Here he comes. Is Jonah, Jonah stuck in there in the water wasn't a good situation. And as soon as Jonah hit the water, what happened? The storm subsided. And the sailors were safe and were able to go about their way. But then there was Jonah there, left in there, sinking down into the water. Not a good situation. But God hadn't forgot about Jonah. God still had a plan. And so what did he do? He sent a big fish to swallow Jonah up right there. And he swallowed Jonah, and Jonah was now in the belly of a fish. <laughs> you see, he had tried to run away from God, but he should have known better. You can't run from God. He's everywhere, and he cares about everybody. He cared about Jonah in the belly of that fish, but he also cared about the people of Nineveh, who he wanted to repent and turn to him. So eventually, after three days and three nights, Jonah prayed and said, Lord, if you save me from this, I'll go and do what you want. I will go and tell the people of Nineveh that they need to turn to you and stop doing what is sinful. Well, God heard Jonah's prayer. And Jonah was spit out onto land. Let's see, ready? We're going to see if we can get Jonah out of this fish now. Look at that fish has lips. Jonah was spit out, whoa, onto the land where he was able, the fish swam away. And he was able to go and tell the people of Nineveh that they needed to turn to God. Jonah had a choice to make. He made the wrong choice at the beginning. Was he going to go and tell people about God's plan for them? Or was he going to go the other way? I'm glad that in the end, Jonah ended up going and telling the people of Nineveh about their sin. Because the Bible tells us that they listened to him and they turned from their wicked ways and decided to follow God. You know, we've been called to do much the same thing. 
We owe as Christians, Jesus died for us, but he's given us a job to go and tell other people about him too. That's the story. Jonah and the whale.